Hi guys, this is Nitish. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study about spermatogenesis, sex determination first. SRY genes determine the sex. If it is present, then it's male. If it's absent, then it's female. And where it is present, it is present in the distal end of short arm of Y chromosome. Y chromosome. Genes favoring the testis formation. First, learn RSPO1 and uh, another you can learn by want for sex. Want for, in spite of sex, right? Socks. Best method, karyotyping. This method is used for sex de determination and any defect in chromosomes. Karyotyping. Embryology. Next. First, gonads. These are derived from the genital ridge. ridge. Same here. Genital ridge. Ducts. If two things are apart, we require a bridge. Same like ovaries and testes are apart. We require a bridge from bridge learn ridge. Germ cells are, are derived from epiblast. And external genitalia. Somatic. Part of later plate mesoderm. Later plate mesoderm. It's actually dorsal, dorso, somatic. So it's the diagram. This is epiderm, mesoderm, endoderm. This is notochord. Remember, mesoderm is divided into three parts. First, paraoxial mesoderm, para, para, oxial, mesoderm. This is intermediate, intermediate. This is lateral one. Remember from ex uh, from its external genitalia. Described external genitalia. Remember, urogenital uh, urogenital tract is arrived from mesoderm, except urogenital sinus. sinus. And from the intermediate one, there is, we studied before, genital ridge. And genital ridge from its gonads, ducts, and parts of renal system. One point here, genital ridge, it start forming at fifth week of gestation. Now gonads, till six weeks, they are bipotential, means they can either be male or female weeks are bipotential potential we discussed derived from genital ridge from genital ridge told you earlier if SRY genes present then it's male And if it's absent, it's female, male. Med medulla of genital ridge forms testis. Medulla of genital ridge. F 
forms testis here cortex of genital edge forms ovaries now let's start with uh, germ cells discussed earlier by potential and they are derived from epiblast spermatogenesis this is spermatogonia and spermatogonia is 46 xy here mitosis is mitosis will occur mitosis it will become primary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte is also 46 xy again here meiosis 1 and it will form two secondary spermatocyte it would be 23 x and 23 y here now occurs meiosis 2 and four spermatids are formed from spermatids to sperms now let's discuss here this this all process till here it's known as spermatogenesis spermatogenesis it takes 72 to 74 days and process of formation of spermatids to sperms is known as spermiation and it takes around 14 to 16 days now spermatogenesis begins at puberty from one spermatocyte there are four sperms one spermatocyte see primary spermatocytes there is four sperms one spermatogonia forms 16 primary spermatocytes see one spermatogonia form 16 spermatocytes and now one spermatogonia forms how many sperms 16 into 4 it's around 64 sperms time take of one spermatogenesis i told you before 72 to 74 days average time taken by sperms in ductal ductal system it's 14 to 16 days that is spermiation average number of sperms per day 100 millions now part of now spermiogenesis we will start with spermiogenesis that is formation of sperms from spermatids here nuclear material will form the head of sperm golgi will form acrosome mitochondria will form the middle piece and centriole will form the tail or axial part centriole is 9 plus 2 arrangement now sperm what is the length 55 microns fertilizability it's around 2 to 3 days that is 48 to 72 hours sperms attain the motility and maturity in we know epididymis but they will ask you where in epididymis that is caudal part gene of motility remember cats per c a t s p e r cats are highly motile remember like this only iron of motility that is calcium sperm remain motile in female genital tract for around 12 hours 
and time taken by sperm to reach the ampulla of tube equals to 30 minutes now hormonal activity this is hypothalamus it will release gonadotropin hormone that is synthesized by arcuate arcuate nuclei released in pulsatile manner pulse manner and for pulsatilization there is kiss peptin protein remember during the case we have high pulse like that pulsation is high gonadotropin uh, it goes to the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary will release fsh and lh fsh will react on sartori cells and it will release inhibin b inhibin b will further put a neg negative feedback on fsh whereas lh will release lady uh, lh will act on lady cells and will release testosterone testosterone will have a negative feedback on lh and an anterior pituitary negative feedback on sorry lh and it will have neg negative feedback on lh and gnrh gonadotropin release on sorry first stimulus for lytic cells to release the testosterone is by hcg this is remember this it came in aims now hormone needed for spermatogenesis the main hormone needed for the spermatogenesis is testosterone but remember sorry spelling testosterone but remember fsh and lh also have a positive feedback on testosterone so other hormones are lh and fsh remember if it comes in pg exam then they will ask you the hormone needed for spermatogenesis then you have to mark all three because in pg more than one options are correct now testosterone production begins at it begins at we discussed at fifth on fifth week genital ridge was formed genital ridge formed sixth week testis was formed and on seventh week testosterone stereo yes so it begins at 7 to 8th week of intrauterine life maximum level is by 15th week of intrauterine life testosterone in males it's around 5 to 7 mg per day remember only 0.5 to 3% is free rest all is bound to albumin and globulin rest bound to albumin and globulin globulin now from the testosterone there is formation of estradiol and dihydrotestosterone from testosterone there is production of estrogen in the presence of aromatase aromatase enzyme
from there it forms the uh, estrogen and the amount formed is 50 micro per day micrograms per day and testosterone for a uh, testosterone forms DST dihydrotestosterone in the presence of 5 alpha reductase it's the most potent androgen and testosterone ratio DST is around 10 ratio 10 to 15 ratio 1 this is it form now we will study about the blood test is barrier here is germ cells there are satori cells we know they provide the nourishment here are blood vessels and here is the ladic cells these three forms blood testis barrier let me label it these are germ cells these are satori cells also known as sustentacular And this is blood vessels and these are ladic cells they will simply ask you plus uh, blood testis barrier is formed by satori cells if there is single option satori cells and cells are outside the blood uh, blood testis barrier is that is ladic cells so thank you